introducing the Escalibur Rapid SARS-CoV-2 Antigen Test Kit. The Escalibur Rapid Antigen Test is scientifically proven to be extremely accurate with visual results available in as quick as two minutes for highly infectious individuals and within 10 to 15 minutes for lower level infections. The test is near 100% specific for COV-2 amongst other viruses, eliminating false positives. A very high sensitivity means the Escalibur test can correctly identify near 100% of infectious individuals who may or may not have any symptoms. Hello, my name is Dr. Matthew Davis. I'm a general practitioner and I'm here today to take you through the process of using the Escalibur Rapid Antigen Test Kit. The Escalibur Rapid Antigen Test is a near patient test that identifies the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This is the virus that causes COVID-19. A positive result means you are likely to be infectious with COVID-19 at the time of testing. Let me take you through the equipment you will have received. Firstly, the box itself. You'll see the batch number and the expiration date. These are clearly marked. Inside the box, you will have an inspection certificate, information and instructions, extraction tubes, extraction solution, swabs, and antigen test cartridges. There are 20 tests in this size box. You will also need a timer which is not provided. Performing the test is simple and you will obtain a result within 15 minutes. Prior to starting the process, you will need the test antigen card to be at room temperature and labelled with appropriate patient identifying information. Before swabbing your patient, you will need to prepare your extraction tube with eight drops of buffer solution. I recommend doing this immediately before obtaining your swab sample. The Escalibur Rapid Antigen Test requires a sample from the respiratory tract. This is obtained using the nasal swab provided in your box. I will now show you how to obtain a nasal sample using the swab. Nicola, thank you for consenting to uh, take part in this demonstration. What I need to do is take a sample from the back of your nose. I'm going to pass the swab into the back of your left nostril. Okay, it is a bit uncomfortable, it shouldn't hurt, and it may make your eyes water. Nicola, I'm going to ask you to remove your mask, tip back your head, and I will insert the swab into your left nostril. I'll be passing it to the back of your nasopharynx and rotating it a couple of times. If you'd be kind enough to remove your mask. Okay. And we're just rotating it now. And I'm going to rotate it three or four times right at the back of your nasopharynx. I set my countdown timer to one minute at this point. Immediately place your specimen into the extraction tube and roll the swab three to five times. Start your timer as you need to leave the swab in the buffer for one minute. After one minute, pinch the extraction tube with your fingers and withdraw the swab trying to remove as much of the buffer solution as possible whilst doing so. Install the nozzle onto the sample tube tightly. Invert the extraction tube and add three to five drops of the test specimen into the well labelled S by gently squeezing the extraction tube. Set a timer for 15 minutes to ensure results are read after the correct amount of time. The Escalibur Rapid Antigen Test Kit has shown positive tests in as little as two minutes. If this occurs, the test has not malfunctioned, the positive test will be valid and may be an indicator of heavy viral load and high infectiousness. Let's look at how to interpret the results. On your antigen cartridge test card, there is a results panel that has the letters T and C on the side. C is your control zone, T is your test zone. It is imperative that every valid test has a coloured band appear in the control zone. If you do not get a coloured band in the control zone, this is an invalid test and will need to be repeated, as shown in number three. 
After 15 minutes, if you have a coloured band in the control zone and no coloured band in the test zone, this is to be considered a negative test, as in number one. After 15 minutes, if you have a coloured band in the control zone and a coloured band in the test zone, this is a positive test. Any band in the test zone, no matter how faint, is to be considered positive. All results panels must be read at 15 minutes. If the result is not interpreted by 20 minutes, it needs to be considered invalid. I'm pleased to say that Nicola's test was negative.